I was wondering if you've ever heard of the boots theory. I probably have. So pretty much it's an example of socioeconomic unfairness. So pretty much you have a wealthy person and a poor person. They both want to buy boots. And so the wealthy person buys yeah. a set of boots that are $100, but they last them 10 years versus a poor person buys a set of boots that are $15, but they only last them like a year, year and a half. So over 10 years in time, the poor person's spending more money than the wealthy person because yep. the wealthy person decided to invest in a better pair of boots. So I was wondering what your thoughts are on that, living in a country that's built on capitalism and invest in self-investment. They will want to respond to that. But I mean, I think when you're talking about this boots theorem, right, and you're talking about how the rich person is able to afford these expensive boots and how the poor person can only afford a certain boot level, it really is based off the situation, right? The person that's black and they're poor, they're going to still think that it's unfair that this rich person, right, who might be white and really rich can afford these boots. I think it's really what opportunities can this person get that's poor. I think DEI is more, they might shove it at you, but it's almost like they're trying to give an opportunity to these minorities in order for them to get higher up. Right, but it remember, it's not just based on race. DEI is based yeah. on lots of things. But the problem is, it's trying to come up with some kind of policy. Do you have a policy to fix inequality in the United States? I think if you're talking about America and what we stand for, we try to achieve as close as we possibly can to this sense of equality. Mm -hmm. I mean, our Declaration of Independence is life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, right? Everyone can be able to pursue their own happiness in equal sense. And I mean, people in the 1960s, African-Americans, including whites, Asians, they fought for the civil rights movement, even recently with the Black Lives Movement. All these people have strived for an equal sense for something that's equal. And I think if you got rid of a DEI program that these people really have worked for for so long, it's almost like you're saying that their work has not come to something. One thing to your point, like you could say that it's equality by giving that person an opportunity for the job, but if they're not prepared for it, it's not equal because they're not going to excel. The three words of the acronym, diversity, equity, inclusion, yeah. you can't measure any of those. They're all latent variables. You can't pull up facts or numbers on how no. these people are excelling or no, and, you, and, and in a way, you have to do it on an individual basis. You got rich people and poor people, you're going to try to fix them all with one sweeping movement, and you can't do that. 